Alright folks, welcome back to the Gen X Gamer. I am Karak Alvaron and today we have another seed discovery video for you. This one is pretty unique. It's got a couple of things going for it that we don't normally see. Um, the first one is, is of course it has a maypole and here's the maypole. Um, what the unique thing about this particular seed though is it's got a small island on it that has both the elder and bone mass which is pretty cool you don't normally see that so before I get too deep into the video let me say thank you thank you for taking your time to watch my content I appreciate it please remember to like subscribe share all that stuff helps the channel and I appreciate the support so what we do here on my channel for Valheim content I mostly do seed discovery videos and <clears throat> excuse me and in, in those videos I look for maypoles because maypoles are a unique item that that just do not happen on every seed. So I look for maypoles and then I look for uh, seeds that have maypoles that have a very unique um, blueprint. You know, are the maypoles located in a nice spot? Is, are the bosses close, etc.? And then we do a deep dive. So <clears throat> I will leave the seed discovery, the seed description, or the ID, whatever you call it, <laughs> in the title of the video. So if you don't want to get the whole deep dive, you don't have to. You can just check out the seed on your own. Um, but yes, we go through everything. I show you where the bosses are, the frost caves, you name it, we go through it. Um, anyways, so here is this particular maypole. Now, unlike other maypole discoveries, there's not a big village around it. There's just this one building, which is fine. Um, this is unique in the sense that it's it's set down on its own little platform overlooking a little river now over here that's open water now what you're gonna what we're gonna see is when i show you the map this is actually in a in a bit of a bay i think this would be a decent aesthetic build the problem might be is that you don't have a huge um port option to get to the maypole you've got a little river here that I guess you could expand and, and widen but whenever you see these little lily pads the chances of you getting a boat up here are pretty pretty rough now on the positive is is you've got you know you, you you're not that far from clear ocean access right like you're right here to deep water and it does open up and I'll show you on the main map in a minute um so overall, not a whole lot of resources around this maypole. Maybe not the greatest maypole location, but I think this would be great to build just a comfort station. So what you do is, is obviously you build uh, a place to sleep and you put all your comfort items in here so you can maximize comfort with this maypole. And this is where you sleep. And then you build a little portal somewhere to take you to a portal hub where it goes to all your other bases. Now, if you wanted, you could build you know, a big... Uh, compound here I don't see that on this particular seed I think this is going to be a comfort station build and comfort station is just what I call it comfort house whatever you want to call it however it's it's fairly close to the spawn um, you will be able to run to this and I'm going to show you the the map generator in a minute and as we're going to find out on this map it's actually that the starting seed is pretty solid you've got an elder and you've got a trader that you can run to which is good so let's look at that so here's the starting here's the seed okay here's the map um, as you can see here you're connected all the way over to here which is fine um, Excuse me. Here's your spawn. You can run up to this maypole and Like I said, it, it's a big bay. Okay, so you can just run out here and this is open ocean You'll get there. You just got to sail out. So that's cool. We don't have an issue there um, But let's take a look at the bosses So you're obviously by ichthyr, but here's elder over here, which you can run to now The good news is is there's a motor right here. And if we go a little bit to the north Here's that elder bone mass island Okay, that's actually pretty unique. In addition to that, you've got a strip of meadow in between them. Um, that's pretty cool. And if we look just a little bit further out, we're going to find the Yagloth to the south, Yagloth to the north, and a queen to the north. Okay, so 
your play here is going to be you're going to get your maypole location. You're going to sail and you're going to play it to the north. You're going to hit your elder. You're going to get your bone mass. Then come back down for the motor, which isn't too far. But then your Yagolith is up here and your queen is right next door. So overall for boss distribution, it's not a speed run, but it's actually not too bad. Uh, I've played on seeds before where the bosses were just all over the place. <laughs> they were really spread out. Or there was one that was just way out in the boonies somewhere. This is a natural progression, right? You're going to hit the Elder and then you bone mass. Yeah, you're going to have to come back down for motor. But you're in this general area. You really don't have to do a whole lot of exploration to find these bosses. The Agaleth is here and the Queen's there. That's actually pretty solid, I think. Trader. More good news. The Trader is right up here. Okay, um, <clears throat> you should be able to just sail up here. Okay, you can run it, but it's nice to have a trader that close. Now, um, the play, I think, is going to be to the north. That's really the only option for the trader if you're going to go north. If you're going to go south, you've got a couple of more options. And there are bosses down here, too, don't get me wrong. You can play it to the south. The trader on this particular seed, if you, you can see, they're way out here. I mean, that's really far out for these traders. Same over here. That's not normal. You don't normally see that. So you've really only got two traders that are close by to you. The good news is, is this one is very close by. Okay? So that's the play. We're going to head north here, probably. Let's take a look at Leviathans real quick. Um... You know, to get your abyssal harpoon, you're gonna have you got one here and you got another up here by this elder bone mass island. You're probably gonna hit those two anyways. Um, so you're gonna be able to get enough chitlin for your abyssal harpoon, which is really what you need that for. Um, tombs and crypts, this is the, the big one. This is what we always wanna see, and I think you're gonna be pleasantly surprised here. Um You've got enough on the starter island here, um, here and down here for your your dark your black forest crypts. You'd be able to get plenty of circling cores there if you really want to play the elder here. You can grab that. Um, you've got a few sunken crypts here, and a couple up here, and only one by this bone mass, which is not great news. Um, Sunken crypts might be an issue for you. However, if you really, if you're stuck on iron and that's really where you want to invest time, which is cool. I understand you need a lot of iron to build stuff in Valheim, um, important stuff. There's a nice bone mass down here with plenty of crypts. There's one over here. Um, the plate of the north will get you enough enough to get you by, I think. And, and what what's good about these swamp biomes this one here and this one over here is they're not huge biomes all right they're not huge masses so you're not going to be traipsing and running around too much okay you're going to get over here and you're going to be able to find these really quickly that's one of the things with the swamp you can have a big swamp like this okay and you only got four in it and it's just a pain to find them you've got to run all the way through the swamp these are fairly close together and they're fairly it's a fairly small uh, swamp biome so I think your play here is you, you're going to go to these two grab those and that's your iron now let's take a look at the frost caves ideally what we want is we want all our frost caves are on the motor and we want eggs around the motor which we're going to be pleasantly surprised here um, plenty of frost caves over here I don't, I don't think you're going to need any more than that that's a really good motor location Let's take a look at the dragon eggs. Not bad. You've got one right on the motor. Um, you've got enough here. You need three to, to spawn the motor. Um, this is a really good motor, motor location, a really good mountain biome. Hopefully there's a lot of silver in there. I don't know. I haven't gone over and tested it, but that's what you want to see. You want to see lots of frost caves. You want to see the eggs close by that you can grab, and and then there's your motor. You really the mountains mountains are one of my favorite biomes um but it's a pain because sometimes you don't have enough resources near the motor and you have to like go collect them and, and bring them back this is a nice uh mountain biome with the motor boss right there that's pretty solid oh 
We don't want to shut that off. Okay, so let's take a look at troll caves. This is where I like to build my portal bases. If you're a frequent flyer on my channel, you know that I like to put a portal into the um into the uh what are we looking at troll cave and just just the entrance right this one over here by the trader is going to be great now i always build a little base around the trader because i go there you know sell my stuff obviously um but having a troll cave right on top of the trader that's perfect you just enclose the entrance put in your portal and then boom you're right at the trader it's a cheap easy base that you can build that's good news you got one over here by the elder um that might be great if so there's two two applications for this one right number one it, you know you, you're going to want to go back and forth over here to get the elder and the bone mass okay you can build a portal right there it's a cheap and easy base but the second one is is if you're playing a modded server it might very well be that on your server uh, with the mods that you're choosing to play with they might require boss drops and i've played on um, played with mods before that you you know the bosses dropped items that you needed to craft extra extra magical items or whatever um, this that would be great for that because um, then you're going to want to come over here frequently now maybe you build a base that's fine but if you don't want to go through that just drop a portal in this this uh, troll cave over there and boom you've got access to to two bosses right there it's pretty good beehives where's the honey Usually you find these by your, your spawn anyways. Um, you know, you got a couple by your maypole, you should be fine. Um, four to six is what I usually have. And by the time, by the time I get to the swamp, I'm pretty much overflowing with honey. Um, you do need it to, to brew stuff with your cauldron, but uh, yeah, I don't think you need more than that. What else can I show you? Uh, let's, where are the piggies? Let's find the boar spawns. Um, there's a couple here by the maypole now with most maypoles when you get there there's boars running around um normally in a maypole when you find a maypole you're going to find it in a village that village usually has some raspberry bushes and some boars running around okay my early gameplay is pretty much the same every time i, I go and find the bees i get three or four uh, queen bees i go to where the maypole is I enclose some area so I can just harvest the boars. And then I've got, got honey, I've got boars, and I've got, you know, the raspberries that are almost always in these little villages. Now, this one doesn't have the raspberries. It's got the boars running around, though. You're going to have to close them in. Um, or you can just run around and hunt them. But I like to harvest my own boars so I can have it when I want. Anyways, let's take a look at... Yagloth and look at the plains now for the tar pit this is so you can build um, some new pieces this is a really good plains right here it's a big plains okay uh, but it's got plenty of tar pits this Yagloth location is pretty solid totems not bad I mean you need five of them um, and you're going to get five here the, it would be great if they were all lumped up here but they aren't now, totems can be a pain in the neck um, to get because you've got to raid the camp, etc. Um, it's just nice when you've got several here. There's enough on this plains location with Yagloth. It's often the case that you don't have um, enough near the Yagloth location. Up here, there's two close together. There's a couple more up here. Um, and there's a few more up here, which you're going to head over this way anyways for the queen at some point. Um, which, by the way, there's more troll caves over here that you can build a little port to get to the queen. This one actually might be a really good spot. But anyways, it's it's not great for the totems, but it's not horrible. Um, so I think what we have here is is we have really good boss locations because it's not just their proximity to you they're also are are the necessary resources for that region close to you this yagloth is a self-sustaining yagloth meaning it's got the five totems that you can get on on this one 
plane location you're gonna have to run around this motor is sustaining because you can get everything you need out of the mountains right here assuming there's silver which I'm betting there is now to the mislands here's the Queen that's the play I still think that building a portal up here by this this troll cave is probably the way to go then you can just dance in and out of there until you um, get comfortable with the mislands these are the diverger structures. Uh, it's okay. There's a couple right here. Um, concentrations like this are nice. Don't really have that by the queen here, so you got that. Um, giant excavation. That's, you know, um, I think that's ample. It really depends on how much you want to get what you're trying to build. If you got a huge group, yeah, you know. You may need to come down here, but I think that's enough. Um, here's the iron. There's really not that much. Um, that might be problematic if you really want that iron. Um, you've got one here. You're gonna have you, that. You're gonna have to to um, move around for it. It's not a great situation for the iron up here, but it is what it is. You can't have everything. Seeker spawns, and there's plenty around here. Which is, uh, eh, it is what it is. Um, I'm gonna, you know, admit here that I don't have a whole bunch of experience in the Mistlands yet. I've explored it a little bit, um, but on my current playthrough, I'm still trying to find motor. Um, I have finished Valheim all the way through Yagloth already, um, and I recently. Well, not recently, a few months ago, I decided to re-engage the game myself and just play um, vanilla and just go at my own pace. So I haven't got to the Mistlands yet as a player to go in and do all the content. And I don't want to rush it. You know, I don't, I don't need to rush it. I'm probably going to be playing this game for a long time. So at any rate, for those of you that are fluent in the Mistlands, um, I don't know if that's a great resource spread or not. I think it's adequate. The problem is with this overall seed, and this is the one real big negative which has taken a full point away from my score on it is is there's no ashlands up here ashlands are always to the south okay so when you play to the north like we would on this seed what's happening is is you're moving away from the next region we know that ashlands is coming out next they've already announced that so any play to the north is really going to take you away from uh, the future region that should be a consideration in your gameplay now it wouldn't prohibit me from playing this seed but if you're really a connoisseur of Valheim you've played it before and you're really trying to cultivate a new uh, good seed to play on you may want to find one that has the type of play I just described but to the south because that's where the Ashlands are going to be that's where the Ashland boss is going to be okay this your end game is going to be way far to the north. You're going to be on the other side of the world from the Ashlands. Now, maybe that's not a big deal to you. I don't know. But for that reason, it's something that you should consider if you decided to play the seed. Overall, I think the seed is about an 8.5 or a 9. I'm probably going to lean more towards an 8 to an 8.5 because this Maypole is set back a little bit. That's like a half a point off for me. Um, the trader is really close. That elder and that bone mass spawn on that little island is, 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 is very good. The motor location is very good, if not excellent. And the Yagloth location is very good as well. Um, there's a lot of things to love about this seed. I'm not 100% thrilled with the uh, swamp biomes and their uh, sunken crypt makeup, but it's adequate. So I think an 8.5 is probably... About as generous as I could be with this seed. Anyways, uh, take a look at it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Is this what do you, what do you score the seed? I'm thinking eight and a half. If you came in at eight, I'd probably wouldn't haggle too much up with you. Um, anything with a maypole is just a really nice have. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like, subscribe, share. All that stuff really helps the channel out. I really appreciate it. And I'll talk to you again soon.